What is going on YouTube? This is Anthony. I'm going to be showing you guys how to exactly use Paxful to buy Bitcoin. I'll be using PayPal. You could use a bunch of other different types of uh, payment methods. You could use bank transfers, Zelly Pay, Western Union, PayPal, Cash Deposit to Bank, Amazon gift cards. There's literally unlimited. There's 330 options to things that you could use to pay people. Um, I like to use PayPal, so we'll click PayPal for right now. You just you just pick which currency you want to use. So I'm gonna use US dollar. Put how much you're gonna do. So we're gonna do 200. Press search. Make sure that your your location is on USA or whatever location you'd like. And then you have your top picks right here. It'll have like a top dollar, like who's getting the best on the whole price. I like to pick people with um, a thousand plus. Like, I mean, I wouldn't buy from this guy. I always buy from this guy right here. He's really, he's really safe and simple. So is this guy right here, James. He is also super safe and simple. So two hundred dollars gets me one hundred and thirty, one hundred eighty three dollars in Bitcoin. When you scroll down, you can see everything about it, how much they limit, how much you could buy. You can see at their rate and how long it usually takes. It doesn't usually take 30 minutes. That's just how long the trade is until it closes. You gotta show, you gotta make sure you read their terms before you open them. So for this guy, for your first time trading with him, you'll have to show him your ID. You'll have to use your balance only and verify the accounts. Money must come from account matching ID. So it has to be your PayPal account. It cannot be your friends or your father's or your mother's or you see it's pretty simple. Like this guy's really easy. So we're just gonna get started on that one. You press start. Now, best thing about Paxful is it holds the Bitcoin. The, right now they have a hold of my Bitcoin in this little window. He doesn't have access to it anymore. The website has access to it. They're holding my Bitcoin for me. So now I just tell him hello. I've already traded with him before. Some people might have you hold a note saying a few things for their protection. Most people do it whenever it's like $200 plus. So for example, here is what it would look like. This is like early in the morning, I just woke up. But you're gonna put the date, the price, and then just no refunds. They always tell you what to put, but you gotta use your webcam and take a picture. He tells me, hey, he tells me, hey, send this one, send this payment to friends and family. You always can follow these people. Anybody who has a thousand plus reputation, they're not gonna scam you more than likely. Um, they're gonna want to make their money with you. They're gonna want to do their thing. Uh, let me pay this real quick. Now for this guy, he wants, you know, you press, after you paid, you will press paid on this side. And then it says, have you paid? Yes, I have paid. Do not click that you have paid until you do pay. These people will block you and they will get upset with you if you press it before you pay. This guy also wants a receipt of me paying it, which most people do. It's just showing that you paid with PayPal balance. It just shows the date, the how much, who you sent it to, and then a transaction ID. Nothing really crazy, just simple stuff. If something ever goes wrong, you get two, you get three hours. If this guy tries to scam you, he's telling you, oh, I didn't pay you, I didn't do this, I didn't do that, you can click dispute, and a moderator will come in, they will see your whole chat logs, they see everything in this, the pictures and everything, and then they will release the Bitcoin into whoever the favor is. After you buy the Bitcoin, it will say seller successfully has released the Bitcoin to your wallet, so now it's in my wallet, up here. I'm gonna leave him feedback, but you don't have to all the time, but I like to leave people some decent feedback. So now I left him feedback, he'll probably leave me feedback, but they don't usually leave anything. So now to send the Bitcoin that you just got. So I just bought $200 worth of Bitcoin, I got $184. I click go to wallet and it'll show everything you right here. Send Bitcoin. Now you put the address right here, I got mine right here. Enter in the address, and you can either just click this and it sends the full amount, or you can click USD and you can put how much you want to send. So, but I'm just gonna send it all, so I might as well. There's gonna be a four dollar fee, just depending on how much you're sending. The more money you send, the more of a fee it's gonna be. The less money, the less fee. Send down, and now it's it. But it usually takes up to ten minutes. It says, see how it says queued to send out. That means it's it's getting ready to send out. Whenever it is done sending out and it has sent out, it'll say 
BTC sent out instead of saying queued to sent out. So whenever it says sent out, that means they sent it. It should only take like five minutes to get to your account. But other than that, use the description or below to sign up today and get started. If you guys have any questions, you may comment and I will get back to you as soon as I can. You guys could use any payment on this website. You could use Zelly, you could use Cash App, you could use gift cards, anything.